Happy 4th of July. So we've got a pool party, me and Bot, which is quite funny because it's two European dudes celebrating the 4th of July in America. We're at the Mondrain uh, Sky Bar. So yeah, it's gonna be good fun. Sun's shining in LA um, and it's gonna be a party. The sold, it's sold out. I've worked with these guys be once before, I believe. We did a party in LA before. Um, they're, they're cool guys, they're cool guys. They, they know how to put on a party. So all my sets are different. Um, they're always, but the majority of them are my own music. So I have a lot of edits that I play. So I like to play a lot of unsigned music that I don't have. Play a lot of edits that people don't have. I try and play like music that's not fully released or not going to be released for a while. When it's released, I'd probably stop playing it. If I was playing a pool party somewhere else, I'd probably like have a little bit more pool party music vibe. Um, but today I think it's going to be a little bit crazy. So I think they're just going to want to party. So I'm just going to play like kind of a bit of a more banging set. I think every city is an important, important in the dance music scene. Anybody that's throwing parties, underground parties, I think they're all important. Um, LA scene is progressing. We're still not in New York standards. I don't think you can compare them. They're completely different lifestyles. Um, New York is a completely different lifestyle to LA. The people are completely different. Um, the way people are, the way people live are completely different. I'm, maybe you could compare them, but I wouldn't ever want to compare them. Like if when people ask you to compare it to Europe, you can't, it's just different. We have different laws, we have different, different fashions, different types of people. And then there's a lot of similarities to certain places and to certain things, but everything is different. And I feel like we should just embrace that and just, just party, just have a good time. Um, the thing that I like here is there's a, a community. Um, I wouldn't say this is the hub of America for dance music. However, it's, it's progressing forward. Um, I feel like there needs to be a few more clubs that kind of come around, a few more underground clubs that can kind of part, like start pushing more underground music and not booking the same acts. I'm not saying that they are booking the same acts, but I don't want it to turn into like Europe where at the moment in Europe, a lot of the, head, a lot of the lineups are, are the same. I just hope people go down the like, let's try this artist, we've never tried this artist, let's try this artist, let's try that artist, um, rather than, oh, this person's gonna sell out. We're gonna be launching a tour in a few weeks time, uh, which is a full tour of America. So there's like 25 dates, I believe, um, tour in America. Uh, I have a release coming out with Club One Strike, collaboration on Dirty Bird, um, coming out in August. I've got a remix of Chris Lake's Operator coming out in a couple of weeks um, in July. At some, some, I can't remember what time in July. Um, what else? Gonna have, probably gonna launch a record label this year um, and we're probably gonna have our first release maybe end of September. Um, I've also got a remix for ZDS potentially coming out and touring. Um, in September. So yeah, there's lots going on. Um, and between November and December, or November and the new year, um, I'm probably not gonna release any music. Um, I've got two releases ready for the record label, for my record label for next year as well. We've actually got three confirmed releases for, for the record label in total. So we've got a lot of content. Um, I'm just writing singles for next year really now. Um, yeah, there's, there's so much in the pipeline. <laughs> it's like, it's just constantly, like lots of things planning. But it's, it's gonna be a good rest of the year. Um, got a few European dates. Um, planning on heading over to Ibiza as well for a, for a show. Uh, which is quite interesting because I, I used to live in Ibiza um, and I obviously used to play like on a daily basis. I haven't really played a show because because I'm kind of I'm bigger in in America than I am in Europe at the moment, and we're building Europe and slowly trying to build things in Europe. So it'd be nice to get out there and, and do a show um, and build the, the kind of European fan base. So yeah, man, things are good. Life's good.